Good morning. Today is January 21st. Oh, <clears throat> you'd think after a few more times of this, I would I would get it. Um, J January 21st, and today is story time with Dave. No drive time. Sorry. Drive time will resume Monday. Monday through Friday. But we're going to call Saturday and Sunday's story time. So today's story time with Dave. I'm Dave. I'll be reading your story to you. So, you know, um, I, I appreciate so much all the fantastic comments I get and the messages. I'm glad that you guys, you know, find anything that I have to say interesting or meaningful. I, I uh, felt that it was time for me to break down some of um, the craziness that I talk about. So, all of, you know, like, a lot of people, you know, get it. So, when you ask, when, when I get questions and I don't make a video about it, and then I got a message about, hey, you know, I've asked you a couple times about something, blah, blah, blah. All right, right. So basically what happens is I get up, I got like a hundred questions and messages yesterday, which sounded like a lot, but it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not, right? I, uh, to put it in perspective, I get a little more than, uh, 1800 emails a day at work. So for me to answer a hundred questions is pretty easy, you know, whatever in a 10, 15 minute video. If I was just, you know, answering the questions by typing them, it'd probably be a lot faster because, well, I'd, I'd have a, I'd have a team of people that could help me, right? Okay. Anyway, so back to, okay. So when I get questions and I read the questions and I sort them by the category of business that they belong in. And so sometimes I don't get enough questions that pertain to one topic. And I try not to get too far all over the place because it's really easy for me to just psh, go, you know, right off the deep end. And I'm swimming around out there like, oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Right. And that's what happens. So, um, I have a, I have a bunch of questions that aren't categorized into, I don't, I don't have enough questions to fit into a category yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, my camera's doing some really weird, like, I think my frame rate is too high now. Okay. So, um, I had a question that somebody wanted me to talk about taxes. Ew. No fun. Nobody, nobody, nobody thinks that's any fun. And I've had a few more questions about um, sourcing. And um, one of the questions that I was asked about, and, and I thought it was a really wonderful question, to the point where I can't really um, group it with anything else, because it was just, it was so good, I was just like, wow, okay, yes. So the question was, what would I tell myself if I could go back and give myself a piece of advice. Well, I talked about it a little bit yesterday, but I realized in that, in the video that I made yesterday that I actually, I actually didn't answer the question. I told a great story, but I didn't, I didn't answer the, the question. So the answer to the question is the very most important, the number one, the absolute, <laughs> I'd go back and I'd be like, hey, self. And you know what myself would have done? What do you want? That's the problem, self. You didn't listen. You don't listen to anybody. Now, when I say about, when I talk about listening, like, don't be so blatant about not listening. Don't be like, uh, yeah, I don't really care what you have to say. Because that's not the case. I, 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 20 years ago, you know, and I hate to say it, but 20 years ago, and I said it a couple times, nobody, nobody could tell me anything. It just, it wasn't possible, right? Because I just wasn't gonna, I wasn't having it. I thought I knew everything because I was the one doing all the buying and reselling. I had, I had no, no guidance. I, I, I never had anybody explain anything about managing money, managing inventory, managing business, mostly managing people. Because all I knew is, you you can't do your job? I don't care why you can't do your job, you're fired. Well, that doesn't, you know, 
fast forward all these years, realizing now that that doesn't promote a, a healthy uh, working environment. No, it, do, it does not bolster productivity. Uh, you know, giving your employee one or 50 a reason to be happy when they come to work. It's really important if you want to if you want to bolster them at productivity. If, if you want to see one person come in and do you know 50 60 listings in a day, just make it make it easy enough. Make them make them feel good. That's the that's the key. But I got a lot of people that I I get to work, I walk through the building, I, I go and I ask every person in the building every day how they're doing. How's their day so far? And that sounds like it's way above and beyond. But I can also gauge the overall attitude of each individual and then collectively. Because the mob mentality is real. Now when you only have one employee, there's no mob mentality. It's just this one person. And if you're if you're just being an overbearing, over-the-top tyrant, well, the problem is, on the other side of the scale, you're being so nice and so wonderful and so friendly. We're best friends. Your best friend doesn't do what you need done. Your best friend comes and goes when they want to. Your best friend causes you a bunch of problems and you're too far on the, on the spectrum the other way, the skin, the spectrum, the, the weight of measurement for good and bad, you know, dark and light, all that, all that, all the measurements, any, any measurement you could come up with. So the one thing that I did learn 30 years ago from a guy who I made incredibly incredibly angry because I was I was I was so arrogant I was so arrogant that you know I made a video about it yesterday you run into somebody and they're like yeah blah 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 we get to, we get to talking over time and this guy's like yeah I do you know I do you know five million dollars a year I've got uh, I've got 20 booths booths I can't, I can't even say that word I don't even know what that word is at, at 20 different flea markets. 20, 20 flea markets and you're doing like $5 million a year. So, well, this wasn't 20 years ago. It was like 25 years ago. I was I was probably, I don't know. I don't know how old it was. 22, 23 when it actually happened. I don't know the exact time. But, but at that point, I was just like, uh, you got a hole in your t-shirt. And you're wearing a t-shirt. And you're out here at a flea market running a booth next to me. Well, <clears throat> what I didn't understand then was about the fact that he might be doing those sales numbers, but he was making like 1%. And it took all those booths. And he was smart enough to understand what it took for him to make a living. And living is a relative term to your are you happy with what you make? So again yesterday I kind of went off on uh, you know on on the difference the, the scale of income and, and typically what happens in someone's life that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen to you and you could just be happy so you're making whatever you start making more money you're still just happy making whatever and your life won't change. Just, just because I have no experience with it doesn't mean anything. Remember, every, everything that I say here is, uh, you know, a lot of my stories are read, read between the lines. Everything I say can apply to you in your situation. Because I was there. Right? The next, the next question was rags to riches and somebody wanted a little insight into, you, you want to know the story. 
you know, I can't even like make all my faces and, and make light of it because this story is not interesting. My stepfather, you know, so let me back up. At 18 years old, everybody says, it's time for you to get out, son. Time to make your way in the world. Good luck. No, but they actually, they actually meant it. So, out I go at 18. And so I had to find a way. Like, you know, a lot of, a lot of people are like, well, I've been on my own since I was 16 and I was living on the street and I was doing all these things and that wasn't really the case. So, I, I went out and I, I moved into a, what I, what I could afford. I have nothing against um, single wide mobile homes. You know, I like them very much. It was the first place I ever lived. It was on a dirt road in a, in a really run down, um, trailer park that was owned by a slumlord. You know, and you, and you get what you can, what you can afford. And at the time I could afford nothing. So let's just say my, my trailer I lived in was Two hundred dollars a month. So, if anybody knows anything about anything, at this moment, you're thinking, "Wow, what kind of place was this for two hundred dollars a month?" You don't have to think hard about it because it was exactly whatever it is that you're thinking right now. That was that was it. Yep. All right. So, I moved into my my new palace. I have to be very optimistic about it. It's all I know. I didn't know anything else. And um, oddly enough, directly next door was a crazy old guy that sold lawnmower parts at the flea market. He was loo he was he was a loon. I mean he was it was I was like I was in Looney Tunes. Right? He was a coyote and he was like trying to blow everybody up and I mean it was it was bonkers. Crazy. Uh, over the top, ridiculous, right? But so every day, I you know I'm I'm I get home from my my job it was not a good job. Um, back then, minimum wage was three dollars and twenty five cent, and e almost everybody right now watching my videos was probably there. You probably weren't making three twenty five then. You probably remember it, and I was. So I'd get home, and uh, there he was. So you know, I just I kind of go over, and he was always just sitting in a chair outside. And I'm like, uh, so how exactly do you? Well, you know, all my stuff stays out there all the time. So I'm, you know, only only I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm home Monday through Thursday. Wow. So you work three days a week. And you're off four? That's what I that's what I got out of it. Nothing else. Right? Yep. Well, do you do you make good money? Well, I make I make five, six hundred dollars a week. Well, that's that's triple what I'm making. Well, how'd you get started? So he starts explaining how he just he works on people's lawnmowers around the neighborhood and and he's like, you know, I could actually use some help. So now I can work seven days a week? Ha <laughs> I'm not working seven days a week. Are you kidding me? And he laughed and he's like, Son, do you do you deserve a day off? Well, since you put it that way, I, I actually don't think I do. I wasn't sure what he meant, but at that point I could tell I'd, I'd crossed the line because I I talked too much. I couldn't stop myself. So I crossed that line, and I was like, oh my goodness. All right. So at that point, I was like, well, I'm going to take him up on it because I really want to learn. And before I 
said the next word, he goes, now I know you're re you're interested. You know, you've come over here every day talking to me about it, and I know you really want to learn this. I do. You're very you're you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yep. So um, I couldn't go Friday because I, I had to work. So I did go Saturday, very early, 6 a.m. That's 6 a.m. was very early for me. What can I say? So <clears throat> through the next, and it was a very long six, eight months, I met, well, you you know, unlike him, I actually went around and I talked to everybody else that had booths and talked to them about their products and, and I learned a lot. And that was the point where I was introduced to video games. I met a guy that did five million dollars a year at all these flea markets. Well, you know, Dave, you're probably not going to get rich off my video games, but you know they do sell very well. In the video game, there was it was PC software. I mean, you got to think back then. We're talking about um, 8086s and 8088 computers. This was before the Pentiums, before the D um, DX4100s, the DX250s, the D, you know, all the all the processors that were coming out at the time. It was just the we were breaking into that electronics, the new sector of technology was. Ex so you're not gonna you're not gonna get rich. You're you're gonna you'll make a little bit of money. Okay. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He goes, all right, so how much money do you have? Um, I don't know. I got like five bucks in my pocket. Five dollars, huh? All right, well. And then he goes to explaining about all the booths and that, you know, they're people like me and, and you know, and they're, they're kind of his booths because he supplies all of the inventory and then we pay him. And that's our motive, you know, it's our motivation to work. It's kind of, I'm buying a job is... Like my very first franchise in video games, it was P, you know PC software basically. So I I took him up on the offer. He's like, you know, you can you can make four or five hundred dollars a weekend. That's what lawnmower guy makes. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yep. So that was my very first adventure into buying and selling with no guidance, no help, no money management, no nothing, 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 right? So again, we take it all for what it's worth, and if we learn anything, it was never our intention, yours, mine, or any of us at any age to ever be so arrogant to believe that someone doesn't know something that we don't know. The keys to success are to listen and to understand that we do not know everything and that I'm open to learning and I should have been open to learning. I was learning back then, but I was difficult about it and I wish I hadn't have been. But I say that and it's quite possible that because I was so difficult, it brought me to where I was today because if I hadn't have been difficult on people, I may have had employees that I shouldn't have today, which I do not have today. So there are always lessons to be learned, information to share, and stories to tell. This is Storytime, and I'm Dave, and I will see you soon.